In today's video, we're going to learn about recursion, and we're going to learn how to do recursion in Go. First of all, I'm going to teach you a little how recursion works, and then immediately we're going to jump into doing recursion in the Go programming language. Let's begin. Okay, first we have a function, and we're going to call this recursion. In this recursion function, we're going to have an int value of n. This is what it's going to take in. Okay. And what we can do, let's just start with n to equal to 0. With n being 0, what we're trying to do with recursion is we're trying to call back on itself. But when n is 0, there actually is nothing left to call back on. So what we can do is we can just return the value. So what we can do is like if n equal to 0, we can just tell it to simply just return 1 or return n, depending on whatever your function is meant to do. Okay, but now let's say that we have n to equal to 2. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to make a statement and we're to say this else. So assuming that n is nothing, is greater than 0, where all the rest of the functions. So we're going to say n is 2. What we're going to do is we're going to say return n. And then what we have to do is multiply this by the recursion of n minus 1. What this will do is this is going to be calling back on the recursive function. And I'm going to show you just how that works. So we're going to say n will be 2. And now we're going to have recursion of just 1 now because n minus 1 is equal to I mean, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. OK, now we have 2, then we have recursion of 1. So then we can go to recursion 1, and what we have to go back to is this else statement. We have if n equals to 0, return 1, and then now we have to say else, and we're going to do return 1 times recursion of one minus one, which is just zero, and we know that it's going to return one. So now we're going to return what is supposed to be one times one, which is just one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way back up here, and we're going to say this is multiplied. And then what we're going to do is return put this recursion is now one. So now we have to return is return will now become two times. 1, which will now just return 2, and now we can go all the way back up here, and our function will just be 2. Now that we have a basic idea of how recursion works, what we're going to do is we're going to create a recursive function in the Go programming language. First, what we do is we're going to create a package of main. We're also going to import uh, fmt. With that, we're going to create a function of recurse, is what I would just call it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say that we're going to take an n int value, saying that we're going to take in an int. And what we're going to do is for the go, you have to do an also an int on the outside with brackets. This is where we're going to do our function calling. This is where is if n will equal to 0, we had to specify that it's going to return 1. So if n equal equal 0, what we're going to do is we're going to tell it to return 1. Now, if n is anything greater than 0, what we're going to do is we're going to specify to return n times that by the recursion of n minus 1, like we specified earlier. Now what we're going to have is a main function, which will do all of our calling, also with our printing. Main, and we're going to have that, and we're going to do fmt, and we're going to do print ln, and we're going to specify that to, do, to call recursion, and say we want to return 7. What we're also going to do is we're going to call a second version of this, and we're going to also specify that to call 0 as well. Now that we have our function ready, what we're going to do is we're going to print it out and see if this works. 
what we have to say is go run and then recursion dot go what it should print out for seven it should print out five thousand and forty and for zero it'll print out one great this is exactly what we wanted this is just a little of how to do recursion in the go program language i'll come out with more videos as time goes along i hope you learned a lot from this video and hope to see you next time thank you for watching